Hello there, I'm an Adelon Denomaly from Switzerland and today we are back with Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, um, today I'm a half an hour later than usual. Um, I really have to say I um, went to sleep like really late in the morning. Like, I think it was 5.30 in the morning or something like that. So it was like really late. Um, but I have to say this, I finally slept really good again, like, I think I slept like, what was it, seven hours, like, almost eight hours straight, so, I can't even remember when that, when it was the last time that I slept that long, so, I'm actually really happy about that, um, I wish it could stay that way, you know, that, um, you know, with my, um, that I don't wake up in the night or well <laughs> I should say more in the morning um, but yeah on the other hand I just need now to fix my sleep cycle huh? like it's not like since I'm out of school that I have that but like I already had that in school too like I have this for a really long time but um, but yeah I mean Dude, if I could just go to sleep like five five hours earlier, you know, at one one p.m. in the one no well, one a.m. in the morning, wake up at eight nine or ten a.m. in the morning, that would be nice. But um, yeah, doesn't work right now. Whatever. I mean, I still have the luxury that I'm like not in school, not anywhere. But I really need to fix it because otherwise, yeah. It will be kind of hard with school. <sighs> I will see about that. Like, I don't know how I can fix it, but whatever. Okay, yeah. Sorry, um, my brain is not really here. Um, just because, like, I literally just stood up, like, 10 minutes after 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, it's really not great. Like, I wish I... Like, I really wish I could, um, sleep better. I mean... You know, with no interruptions and with uh, the correct sleep cycle. Would be awesome. Doesn't work at the moment. But yeah. Um, what else actually? Oh yeah, by the way. I played Overwatch yesterday. Um, a bit. I mean, I will play Overwatch uh, uh, this evening again. But um, actually I was um, pretty good. Got some points. So um, I'm proud of that. I just hope I can continue... Uh, with that uh, this evening but yeah, anyways we're here in Life is Strange Before the Storm um, the new episode I can show it to you so at first the forest doesn't burn now anymore that's kind of weird because we still know that you know the forest it was lit on fire like two days ago and after two days, it's already out again, really. Or maybe just the, the fire uh, the department uh, came. What do you firemen? What do you, what do you call these people that that it that extinguish fire? Like, how can't I remember their their profession? Fire service, fire department, fire brigade. Yeah, fire department. Huh. It really is called like that. Okay, so yeah, anyways, um, it just amazes me, like, two days, okay, well, I guess the Oregon Fire Department is better than the California Fire Department, <laughs> oh, well, maybe in California there are also, like, you know, the fires are way bigger, god damn it, man, look at how I'm talking, I'm talking like a dead man, what the fuck is wrong with me today? So yeah, anyways, um, episodes, now the third episode, hell is empty, so I guess next week, um, Life is Strange Before the Storm will be finished. <sighs> oh well, hell is empty. Yeah, Rachel doesn't look kind of happy. Chloe looks shocked, for whatever reason. By the way, I love the jacket of, of, of Rachel, like this, this rebel style, I really love the stuff. So, um, yeah, what happened last episode? The Tempest, um, we got the money from Drew, um, but Damon was there and beat, did beat Drew up, 
Like, he's a fucking, he's a fucking criminal. I hope um, something happens to him. <laughs> and, yeah, and we found out that um, Sarah is indeed Rachel's mother. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> For Rachel. So, but still, why did, why, why did Sarah come back? Wait, what is her last name? Sarah, Sarah something. We, we heard it last episode, but I, but I can't remember it anymore. Whatever. So let's start with the episode, episode three. Hell is empty. And the Raven again. Maybe we, we will get um, some other visions from William. I would actually think this would be kind of cool. You know. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. No. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? I'm expelled. You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. No. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! True. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Please. This junkyard, all I've got left. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. But I did open the door. Juliet is wailing. Dude, that tempest was just amazing. And come on, Mr. Keaton is just the funniest dude ever. We shall fly beyond this island. The corners of the world yeah, are Rachel cold. was happy that what evening. Not anymore now. Wish. Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. Yeah. What would it take to convince you? A kiss. <laughs> Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Boom. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, one second. Um, I have to set the music up again. You know, because in the beginning the music is like always really loud, but afterwards in the game it's like more silent, so yeah. Okay. Oh, Rachel. But hey, she destroyed the table. It's so funny that I she... I want to tell you all of it. No, whatever. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> of course. She stays. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. She the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. So she's Your a biological mother. Birth mother. Yeah, but Rose is the mother who raised her. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. That's kind of cool. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Well, she wants to know. Everyone would want to know that. Oh, she looks into the, the goggles. Yeah, tell me the backstory. Chloe. Will we get some backstory explanation? You can handle this. No way, I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Oh, man. But yeah, the thing I wanted to, um... Damn, the music! Jesus, it's so deep. Damn, this gives me chills. By the way, you see, um, Rachel's, um, necklace? I actually, um... I actually have this one. I mean, I bought that one from, uh... I bought that one from New Zealand, and it actually looks kind of similar. Like, I wonder if it has the same meaning. It's kind of interesting, I never knew that uh, Rachel also had 
that thing, but interesting. Point at the view file and then press A to join Rachel. Damn. I actually thought that Rachel is tall, but Chloe is even taller. Holy shit. How tall is how tall is Chloe even? Dude, that's that's crazy. All the music. So let's join. But the foreshadowing, man. We're in a dark room again. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. Okay. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Just like Rachel. Teachers, her friends. <laughs> that's, that's young Sarah James. Everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Yeah, but something happened. Sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Yeah, beauty blinds. <sighs> she was so beautiful, just like you. Aw, uh, yeah. I mean, Sarah really has some similarities with Rachel. She was so alive. So passionate about everything early on though i realized i wasn't enough for her always oh, a foreshadowing for chloe while the rest of us were pursuing college careers families sarah wasn't looking for any of that what she looking she for was looking for escape no, that's 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 me. I only saw what I wanted to see <laughs> until it was almost too late. Oh, so wait, so maybe James, you know, um, had some intimate relationship with her, and then she had a baby, and she did go away, and he stayed with the baby, and then he met Rose, and they raised a child. Rachel together. Maybe? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. Aww. Little Only Rachel. While. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Yeah, same as Chloe for Rachel. <sighs> this all feels like someone else's life. Whatever it's your life, Rachel. Rachel. I'm here. Descent court. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Descent. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there there's a syringe down there did she do some drugs for over a year i tried to help her no don't don't I let me see it i hate it i hate fucking needles person yeah. that no matter Stop. what happened she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Rock and roll. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Oh, the damn, her arm has like, oh my god. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone. Anything. No. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Damn, that shit, that shit went dark quickly. Okay, and then she just left or did James leave her 
and she just thought like well yeah i might escape now what you saw at the overlook rachel it was true we kissed yeah we saw that it was the saddest kiss of my life it was a kiss goodbye i told her and I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Oh, now she wanted after to meet Rachel. All the people. And he denied met. her. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given greatest gift in the world yeah the chance to be your mother and she squandered it it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe yeah but is this smart is this really smart to hide her from the truth? So, but Rose knew all so along. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. For drugs? It's our arrangement. Or just for her to come around. But now she wants to see me? Yeah. Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Who says it's your decision? You think you have the right to decide that for her? When yeah. When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, so I truly he left her. I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> That's Rachel, all true. I think I need to lie down. Oh, boy. <laughs> that table there. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you need to watch out for the glass shards. They are really sharp. Oh boy. Damn. Yeah, awkward moment for Chloe. But also heavy. Like, I wouldn't know how I... I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. True. But... I think this really is a downward spiral for for Rachel. I mean, you know, James feels guilty, Rose probably feels guilty there, and and Rachel knows that that Sarah chose her just over over the money for fifteen years, and uh, I don't know. It just it just makes the trust in a family like really non-existent. And I mean, Rachel has some really sim some real similarities with uh, with Sarah. I mean, she basically looks like her younger self, like a younger version of Sarah, you know. And I think, and she also was like so passionate about everything, which um, Rachel is too. But I think that combined well with this family drama, I think really sent her like, at least for in Chloe's perspective, into a downward spiral. You know, I mean, afterwards. We know that she hid things from Chloe, that she that she was together with Frank afterwards. Also, she had maybe some stuff with Nathan, also some stuff with Rachel Mr. Jefferson. I should see if she's okay. But in the end, she had even a worse fate than, than Sarah. I mean, in the end, it's just, you know, she just, she just dies because of, well, because of Nathan in the end, but because of the the actions that, that Jefferson did to the other girls, you know. So, uh, God damn it! Why, Rachel? You have such a sad life. You, 
you kind of couldn't do anything to it. Look, look, before, before this revelation, I really thought that Rachel was just, you know, she was like a good girlfriend for, for a good best friend for Chloe. But in the end, you know, she wasn't the only one. Chloe thought like, hey, they are only together and, you know, they have each other. But Rachel wasn't like that. She wanted more. And in the end, that was the thing that got her killed. But now I think she really couldn't do anything against it. Like her hands, her hands were forced. She needed the freedom. She needed people to trust again. So probably that was the reason why she was engaged with so many people. Uh, man, that's that's just so sad. So basically, I check on Rachel. So basically, the decisions that James did ultimately doomed Rachel in the end. That's... that's fucking unfair. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Uh, I don't know. Wonder what James is thinking right now. No, we can speak to him. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. Why do you dread so it? So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. Like? I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Yeah, but... But in the end, she, she comes together with fucking Frank. Like, the drug dealer. Really? She goes down the path because of your actions. I mean, you can't know that right now, but... Come on, have a bit of a foresight. Uh, shouldn't that be up to Rachel? What are you afraid Sarah would do? Yeah, I want to know that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? Yeah, it she is. It would surprise me if she were. That's who she is. That's why he investigated. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Yeah. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Uh... Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. No. Yep. This is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. Now, to be honest, I like James. I'll do what I can. Now he's cool. <laughs> I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Aww. Come on, where's, where's the scotch? Where's the cigar? You need it right now, no? You're just... You're a rich family, father. You should have a scotch. And a, and a cigar from Cuba. <laughs> that would fit. The Tempest show feels so far away now. Yeah, I mean, it was basically a week ago for me. <laughs> Congrats to the crew of Tempest. So sorry, Mr. Oh, oh, Ray. Oh, why? Right, I already read that. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. It surely did. Like she's probably she's um thinking about everything that her life has been alive for her. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a Sarah known Gearhart. associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Yeah, Damon Merrick. That idiot. Oh man, but the Mori guy Maybe is cool. Sarah no, really not the Mori guy, the, the Samoan guy, the Rodney Thunder Sears on the right side. He was cool. I loved him. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. 
Hmm. What if she'd known everything? Fire grows despite interagency efforts. Largest fire in Arcadia history frightens residents and baffles authorities. Well, she can't be happy that no one. This uh, seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. No. Yeah. Look, to be honest, um, Rachel can't be happy that no one found out that um, she set this fire because otherwise uh, she would go to jail. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Yeah, but um, it was an understandable reaction, to be honest. Like, I guess there's it's not something out of the ordinary. Fancy stuff like this. That's true. I mean, come on. When you have a house like this, when you can basically have everything what you want, I mean, still I would like to live here. Um, can I look at that? It's so weird to look at this now. <laughs> Still, Rachel can also remember that, like, her father at least was real, and I mean, the mother that uh, Rose, who raised her, I mean, was still a good mother to her. So, you know. Can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. <laughs> oh, well. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Yeah, I wonder that myself too. Hey, Mrs. Amber. Does she want to talk? I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Yeah, but aren't you okay. guys married? Rose. Uh, sorry about tonight. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Oh. Why? Thanks. Why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Yeah. Uh, doing better than Rachel now, that's not good. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago. Yeah, they kissed. And now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. Yeah, but that's there the problem. There are many painful things about Rachel's past. Including my own role in hiding the truth. Yeah, but... Uh, look. What did I want to say? On the other hand... When you hide the truth, the longer you hide it, the harder it will be to tell it, and the more impactful it will be on the person that you hid the truth from, you know. So, it just gets worse and worse as time continues. <sighs> Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It just Gave because to hide the, the truth. opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. Yep. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years See? of marriage, yeah, married. I'm not threatened by what happened. You're oh, right. Damn. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do That's you crazy. Think Sarah is dangerous. Oh, come on. I want I've to never talk. met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. And thanks for Thank you, you to Chloe. and to you to have a mother like that, but uh it's crazy how she feels not threatened by Sarah and that kiss 
you know, from James. They did the, with Sarah. But, I mean, damn. Like, and she still loved Rachel, even though it wasn't her, her child, you know? So, that's some, that's some mother props right there, Rose. I mean, damn. That's crazy. Like, you know, nothing, nothing talking uh, behind the back, just accepting Rachel as her own child. That's crazy. I mean, not everyone can do that, you know, so, so respect to that. That's, by the way, a really nice picture. And I also love, love the glass here. I don't know, some, some people might say it's like, it has a grandma vibe or something like that, but I actually like Rachel it. Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. Yeah, of course. Go upstairs. Oh, I guess Rachel's not doing okay. She's in her room. Is she really lying down? We've never been in her room. Do see do. Oh my god. Yeah, Rachel is the do. Square Enix. I am so happy. Let's travel. Oh no. Deck 9. The masks. Dude, that, that room looks kind of cool. Uh, Rachel? Life is Strange Before the Storm. Episode 3. Hell is Empty. Oh man. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Yeah, now we can Oh my god, now we can see a whole room. That's amazing. Dude. But that room is actually pretty cool. But I actually have to say for a 16-year-old, this room looks kind of um you know for a child. You know what I mean? Like, you know the 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 wall and you know, the, the desk, and the lighty, lightning things, and these stars. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Yeah, I know that feeling of being lonely. Your wonderful daughter on the night of her, her, her first show. Break a leg, we love you, mom and dad. It makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. <laughs> I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Uh, the cusp of oscillation. Cancer Leo. Strengths. Creative. Passionate. Loving. Devoted. Diplomatic. Yeah, that's she. Weakness. Self-centered. Volatile. Possessive. Dramatic. Dude, that's, that's some true shit. Holy fuck. Crush. Oh, that's that's the punk stuff there. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. <laughs> yeah, but watch out that that thing doesn't stop burning. Oh, there's some flower rings, you know, like the ones from Hawaii. But actually, that that's just a tourist thing. Rachel has so many inspirations; she can barely keep them all contained. Let us think the unthinkable, let us do the undoable, let us prepare to grapple with the inner ineffable itself. No clue what that means. And see if we may not F it after all. Douglas Adams. The beginning is always today. Mary Wollstonecraft. It is well Oh, is it well that I should with what? Is it well that I should with to leave this dreary world behind, seeking for your fairytopia, which perchance I may not find. Henry Candle, nothing is impossible, the word itself says. I'm possible. <laughs> Audrey Hepburn, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of uplifting. Casting call, bun, bunnies, something down there, and craft, kiss me, Kate. Once upon a time. Oh, what's a once upon a time? Sorry. I would also love to have a pinball like that. 
Like, should I really get myself a pinball? Like, I always wanted that, but now, I get, now I'm really inspired to have such a thing again. There's a star up there. Let's travel. Yeah, we already saw that. Uh, Needlepoint. The Ying and Hadass Yang of Rachel Amber. Above all, remember. You are loved. Before all else, be armed. Machiavelli. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would have loved to be loved like that. We were so close to making our break last night. Now. I don't know. That was the turning point. This night was the turning point. That's why Rachel and Chloe never left. Because of that. Oh no, why? You could have had such better lives. Oh fuck, man. That's an Enneagram. Oh, I know these things. Is there things. a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? Type 4, no. the individual is. Type 4s can be the most creative on the types when they are able to reach the potential. The best type 4s are inspired, productive, sensitive, and independent. In a difficult environment, however, type 4s can fail, uh, fall into melancholy, me melancholy and self-indulgence. 4s craft their own identities by picking and choosing a select few of their emotions to rely on and all but blocking out the rest. Type 4s define themselves by the differences from other people. While this can lead to incredible talent and creativity, it also can lead to an unhealthy obsession on their perceived deficiencies and flaws. The best thing for a 4 is to learn how to let go of feelings from the past and focus on the potential the future holds. That could actually be me. That could actually be me. Individualist, helper, reformer. Ah. Uh. Dude, I get inspired here. May you always be safe. Sure. But from who? Love that. From that. It's a drawer. Are we allowed to open that? I guess so. Report card. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Marks A A A A A. Latin American, 20th century literature, biology honors, drama lab. Fis, 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 fis ed, whatever that is. Excellence personified, unfailingly insightful and dedicated. In the, in the, what is that word? Indefatigable <laughs> mind and spirit. An absolute star pupil, the light of Dionysus, brightly shown. Oh, that's so Mr. Keaton. Uh, perfect attendance. Oh, man. So she's, so she's in the 10th class right now, huh? That's the planner. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so... easy. Almost sad to see all this... effort. Yeah. Ugh. Flowers. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Yep. It indeed did. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. <laughs> the complete works of William Shakespeare. They really call him Willie. Rachel's really into stars. I love that globe. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I think so. Dude, that globe is awesome. I want that. Dude, I want so much from this room. It's amazing. I don't know. It's, it's just me. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? <sighs> Anatomy. Do you really want to do this, Chloe? And is this now smart? It doesn't seem like it, to be honest. Anatomy. That's the one. Where do babies come from? Show and tell. <laughs> Show and tell. Oh, what the fuck. Okay, let's open this. What's that in the first aid kit? Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, she will. Oh, man. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. 
Dear Miss Arcadia, what's the real deal with that final town and when it's going to come down here and incinerate us all in its fiery hug of death? Asking for a friend. Bros before bronies. <laughs> uh, first, first, no, didn't the fire start the day of the fireworkers here? Hmm. This is a strange one, friends. ABFDs also say that say they've never seen anything like it no idea where it came from no idea why it why it's lasted this long total mystery time to put on your tin foil hat and start speculating there's a dragon with with matches that's loose on the town price cuts like 15 percent serious <laughs> with only 50 price cuts are shady as shit you really put this past them they probably had some in incriminating evidence to burn or better yet bodies not to mention the camp trails that drop all over town highly flammable all kinds of of people, just some kids getting high in the woods. As for the weirdness, this town is weird. What else is new? Um, but why male models? We are built on an Indian burial ground, are we not? It's natives, native people's burial grounds. And no, we're not. Burn, get it? Legalize Oregon movement, how to get involved. Black belt to additions back, it's coming. Wow, that's... That was all the thing about the fire. That was basically like, almost... That was so quick, like people... They really moved on really fast. That's weird. Yeah, a cork board. I would love that. Um. Cool light. Yeah, this really is a cool light. God, What's this thing called? This light needs more light. Nah. Well, we know how to do it. Um. Wonder what's what the I thing called again? Nightlight. Nightlight. There's a picture. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Yeah, they eventually had maybe an affair. Who knows? Or will have an affair. Ugh. Map of the USA. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Yeah, she would love to be in LA again. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Something Rachel said. Something I said. That Something I said. I said. Oh my god, Rachel. She just lies there. It's not fair. It's really not fair. Let me know if you need an accomplice. <laughs> oh. American graffiti. Let's save these flowers. Come on, man. She should remember the Tempest. It was amazing. Like, even though Chloe didn't want to participate, it was still kind of cool. There's a rose. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Yep. <laughs> In oh, seriously. In there. But what if when she wants to drink? Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know that, we know that. Seems like everything has changed Why didn't you put that? all the roses into that thing? I mean, it was, it has enough space. Or maybe also one rose looks also kind of nice. Um, is there something else There's we can... a pretty high-powered flashlight in that emergency kit. Yeah, I know. So let's take it. Uh, yeah, that shit's really bright. I also have a flashlight like that, but it's just like way smaller. Okay, um, Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home, doesn't matter. That is after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Just tell her that you are with the Ambers. Oh damn, Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Say I don't think we're making it. Chloe should come. Hard, hard. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Oh my god, they really invited her into this this WhatsApp group stuff. I actually really never was in such a group chat, to be honest. Maybe just because I don't have, like, many friends. Thanks, I can't, but you were amazing. I'll even admit that Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously, just calm, bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh boy. It's still sad that Max just never wrote to her. Like she just missed all the stuff. Dude. Oh Max, why? Why were you like that? Um 
I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Well, I would love that too, but sadly, that's not the thing. When I am like Rachel, people just get upset with me. Like, why, why, why am I like that? Like, come on, that's just the exact way how you should not react. And people know better. I know that people know better, but I just don't care. Let's turn it on and put... This light needs more light. Yeah, but can't we combine it? Okay, we can't. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't walk away. Wonder what I could find. Or... The flashlight. Yep. Oh, you want to unscrew this? Really? Oh, and you unscrew the other thing too? Or you just... Ah. That's... Dude, that, that fits. Look, that fits perfectly. Um, you just... All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Okay. So, the only thing we can do now is uh, talk to her, it seems. Stars. Oh my god, she has tears. Oh, come on, man. Please don't make me cry. I don't want to tear up, okay? Just not now. Hmm? Hey. Check it out. Oh, that's so cute. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. <laughs> I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Yep. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. True, true, Chloe. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. Most of them, yes. They're all <laughs> lies. Hmm. Well, but they're still beautiful. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> it's all lies. Everything. <sighs> My entire life. My dad. My mom. Oh, damn. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. But why wasn't Chloe enough for you in the end? That's I think the thing you're I don't the get. the only one in the world I can trust. Yeah, but why? <laughs> oh my god, I would love if I... If someone would say that to me. But... You know, still, like, like, why wasn't Chloe enough? I mean, not even more, they could bond even more together, but... Why was... Why was Rachel afterwards with so many other people? Why wasn't Chloe enough for her? I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. Ah, oh, she could smile. I think I would also say something like that. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. Oh, damn. <sighs> I 
It's just unfair. Um, the fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, mm. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Nope. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. The investigation from a father? From what James? if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Uh, I've got this. Let me handle it. Really? Really? <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. Yep. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. <laughs> That's true. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. Yeah, with a with the car and the junkyard. <laughs> You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told I have that to tiger do? dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, 
and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. Anyone? And I would still find a way to get you there. Oh. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, how do I talk to her? What do I say? Uh, it doesn't matter. After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Yeah, he's still around. Your dad? In some form. In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. Yeah, I know that feeling. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? <laughs> Nah, it's wholesome. Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? God, it's so cute right. how they love each other. This is so fucking cute. Yeah, this remembers. <laughs> this remembers myself of also cuddling in a bed. <laughs> oh well. William? It has to be William, right? This is another dream, another vision. The Tempest. Oh my god, she has her her outfit. That's fucking weird. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. <laughs> that was one time. When are you going to let it go? That's not Remember funny. Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Dude, that was David for a second. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. <laughs> All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? It's really weird. What? She. What the? <laughs> what is this? Open the hood. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? No. Nothing here. Like what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? Yeah. I said it's not the spark plug. It's not funny. Stop laughing. Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Nope. 
Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Uh, the world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. <laughs> I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Yep. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. Um. That's pretty dark, Dad. Yeah. Where do you think you get it from? Yeah. There's my cue. Dad? No. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? The music. Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. But that's just so not fair. Oh. Ew. Man, it's fucked up. Fuck you, whoever that person was. So this is the next day. This is Sunday now, right? Uh, there's Chloe going in. I still think that okay. her room is kind of cozy. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. <laughs> I can do this. True. Frank. Oh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually going to cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? <laughs> problem. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Help. Ah, it won't mean a lot to me. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. Sweet. Okay. Thanks, man. You're a real. <laughs> <laughs> that went well, I guess. It did. No cash, but a favor instead. What am I getting myself into? Ah, oh, I don't know. In some serious business, I guess. Thank you for being there for me last night. Feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. I'm a good kisser? <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. Think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, so showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet at junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Oh. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Yep. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I bet he still would. William would know exactly um, how Chloe is and, and um, why she is the way she is. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Because of? I don't get this now. Ah, graffiti. What do I want the record to show? 
burnout. Or should I have gone with burning? Hmm. A sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. Ah, because of that. Ah, now I get it. <laughs> Sorry. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Figures. Yeah. Sarah Gerhardt, one result. Uh, Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gerhardt. March 16th, 1989. Each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher, Fisher Award, named after the famous explorer Robert Fisher, the student who best. That's about it. Right, another search. Um, what? To Chloe Price from someone. Subject to her chase com commented on a photo you're tagged in. To view the photo, make sure you click on the following nice link. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Victoria, just in case I need more proof, the Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. Almond, so that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Trevor, mad respect. Tell her, no one asked you, Trevor. Steph, burn. Alyssa, wow, Chloe. That was classy. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. True. Review Blackwell's The Tempest Takes Shakespeare by Storm by Daniel Balch. Last night, the, pet, the, the, the Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell's Academy, Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. Unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Stella in the lead role, the young Rachel Lambert commands the stage, just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Whether a special mention of whether a special mention was played, Nathan Prescott as Caliban, this promising young actors, weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster, the further life nuance. Severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. Really? He said, fuck you. And he went away. Dude, what about Chloe Price? I mean, I'm literally there. She's literally there as, as Prospera. No, he wasn't Prospera. Was she Prospera? Oh, I don't know. Figure oh, Thou Sorry. art an idiot. <laughs> Yet, the real star tonight in the role of Ariel was newcomer Chloe Price. Ah, Ariel. Right. There we are. Whose chemistry with Mrs. Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand. As she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refused Sarah's freedom in an excellent revision of the original, of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise to Mrs. Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. Oh my god! Yeah. So cute! Go skip. When to quit, an interview with Skip Matthews, Pisshead frontman. Arcadia Bay Online News, so a charmingly homemade music video from your song, Nothing Wrong, hit the internet last night. In the last 12 hours, it has accumulated over 200,000 hits. Skip Matthews, yeah, we were as surprised as everyone else, so that was the thing that we were listening to. AB Online, how can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video? Um, Skip Matthews, I just really needed a change, I was working full time at a job, I hated, and I finally worked up the nerve to quit. And it was so freeing, I just felt the need to channel that feeling into something new. Yeah, so actually, that Skip quit the job was actually a good thing then. Like, I felt shit about it, but... So, he welcomes this new change. Stan Stanwyck here, bringing you up to the that's nice. Of stuff that's on I actually would love to Sega. also, like, buy a Please radio. You know, Alex for Keller a... You know, Bay like, on air? So that, um, that I wake up to, um, to, re to the radio. That would actually be kind of amazing. Uh, laundry. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. True. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Oh, dumb. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sad. Have I ever watered that? Uh, you can still save it. You can still save it. Uh, better than nothing. No, 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 no. Don't. It needs water. Not some coke or beer or whatever that is. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that's Jacket. Dad's favorite jacket. 
Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Yeah, why not take it now? You would look fucking amazing in that. I mean, I have a brown leather, leather jacket by myself from uh, from America. And I love to wear that thing. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. That's possible. I mean, there, are, there is an almost infinite number of uh, parallel universes. So, yeah, that's totally possible that in... And in one other parallel universe, that everything is going out fine and Rachel doesn't die. Um, is there something else? We can't have something new. Oh, hello, that's me. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> ah, come on, let's leave it. By the way, I just love the bear. <laughs> it's amazing. Let's leave it. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Victoria! So I was right all along, Rachel Lamb is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're a little psychic now. Yep. You got every line of that play fucking perfect. How could that be if planning this, haven't you? Uh... Sorry. Uh, haven't you? Oh no, you figured it out. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. <laughs> Fuck you, Chloe. <laughs> oh, Victoria. Dude, but to be honest, Victoria, you were... You really tried to drug Rachel. Like, you really tried to drug Rachel. You were the one who started it. So you don't have to be bim... You don't have to be mad now. And by the way, how how late is it now? How early? Where's Victoria? There. It's not even. It's not even 8 a.m. in the morning, and she's still up on a Sunday. What? What are you guys doing, dude? One day I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not. Fuck this shithole forever. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we know now that um, he moved in. The uh, whatever he's called. Because uh, nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. <laughs> um, dude, did I really forget his name? Uh, the dude. Um, step douche. Um, uh, God damn it! Help me. What was his name? What was his name again? What was his name? Um. Uh. Uh. David Madsen? Was that his name? Sports cars are really good for. For? Hitting on chicks. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Hitting on chicks. Oh, you mean it like that? Oh my god. Oh no. No way. Mom actually sold her ring for $300. Really? $300 diamond ring. No fucking way. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Oh! Shit. It's called redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. F love, uh, love you. William, May 8th, 2005. So is it always on the 8th of May? I mean, I have no clue about Mother's Day. Also no clue about Father's Day. It's been scientifically proven you're officially the best mom in the world. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, love, Chloe. Oh my god, that's so cute. Can I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? Yeah, but maybe you will find something in your room. That would be cool if you could go back into the room and give her something. Shit. David really is moving in. Ugh. Ugly. 
Ugly. Please, no condoms. Even more condoms. Yep. <sighs> Does she have a new book? I wonder who gave this to mom. Putting your foot down, a guy to. Rain. Raining. In your unruly teen, Dr. Bill. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that definitely came from David. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, right. Dude, why do you hide that? Dude, that's... Man, you don't do that. You seriously don't do that. No fucking way. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Yeah. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Okay, when we go in here, can we, can we, can we give her a gift? Nah, no, it says only find pirate towel. Shelves, laundry. No. Um. No, we can't give her anything from here. Oh, fuck. Why not? I want to give her something. Isn't that an option that I can do? Ah, oh, but that explains the music, huh? Because of the Mother's Day stuff. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Yeah, especially when you shower in the shower and then you realize that, oh, at another time, David's naked in there. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Manly grip. Boom. Manly grip for maid. 1994. Ugh. Whatever that is. Never heard of that before. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. Yeah, I know. Maybe. Let's see. No. No awesome pirate Hell towel. is empty. <laughs> I love the music, by the way. A logical place for a towel. <laughs> no, it isn't. Lots of washcloths. No towel. No. Um, I have the feeling like we will... I have to go don't ask even her. Know what's in there. <sighs> Score. Oh. Oh, there is a blue stuff. Really? I can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Huh. Max was going to make me a pirate. Oh, she does her. She ties her hair blue now? But that really sucks. So David or Joyce just put all of Chloe's stuff down there. Really? There's enough space in there for Chloe's things? What the fuck? Take a shower. Okay, I... Okay. That's... whatever. That's not even more weird. Look, I have nothing when you, when you like, you see girls showering, old men, when they are above 18, but she's only 16. That's whatever. That was a short shower. She's going to dye her hair blue now. She's going to do it. I always wonder, how can people put the towels so good on there? You know, like, like I can't do it. Like, for me, it always falls down. <laughs> so that's why I never do it. Like, I just hold it in front of me or around me. How can, how can people do that?
What are you doing? Get, get William's jacket, please. What are you doing, Chloe? Oh, she gets the clothes from William? Hell yes, do it, 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 do it. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Oh damn, that's the that's a bonus outfit? Dragon bonus outfit. Uh punk dough. It's a dragon bonus outfit. Classic Chloe. Punk dough. Should I wear the pre-order stuff? Look, I don't know how it how it will be, okay? I have no clue. Damn. We are classic Chloe now. All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Yeah. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. I still can't take the jacket. Are you serious? Okay, but but actually, I want to see how that is. The punk dough. Okay, I just want to see how how this um how this looks like. That's that one. Jane though. Ha. But come on, I kind of want to go actually with the um with the old outfit. I mean the future outfit, but in the last game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, come on. So I actually pre-ordered the game? Really? Really? I don't even remember but Alright. One last thing. But I, love I need time. to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Yep. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. That's what you love. Ah, uh, we still. Uh, I want to have the jacket. Whatever. So now I have the blue hair, at least like a little bit. Interesting. Is getting out of here still in my future? Ro uh, Route 66. This picture the closest I'll ever get. In Monument Valley. Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Yep. Is there something else in there? Yeah. Did she put the blue stuff back up there? No, she didn't. It's probably still down there. Um. So let's go down. This will be all for us all. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? None? You can't? Oh god, I always know these awkward feelings. Blech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. Not oh, yet. God. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to really make me weird. breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. Blech. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Yeah, that's a sad thing. Because for choice he's good, but not for Chloe. Ah, stop dancing. Blech. Sorry, I can't watch this anymore. Hey, who's there? Me. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. 
but this is uh, is something different. <laughs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. David, I'm also glad you came home. Oh, that was hard for you to say, huh? Uh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. Oh. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Kind of. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh, really? It won't take but a minute. Ugh. Why? Mom. Why? One pancake? Oh no, there are multiple pancakes. Okay. Well, where's the syrup? Chloe. I... Uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Oh, damn. Does Let's it really it. mean it? <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. No. I was uh, out of line. Oh, you don't say. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why don't you accept it? Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. That's not how I meant what? it. It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. Uh, what is it now? I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. And that is? This is my friend Phil Becker. Ah. Oh. We served in the same unit. Two tours. And he died. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment roadside IED IED we used to joke about all the enemy attack we or a landmine once we got back home but he died he died and I didn't and I think about that fact every damn day problem with America is, is mm. I've had my share okay. of grief I know what you're going through so why was there no more understanding so I, for Chloe what I'm afterwards is, I'm here to do what whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Oh boy. Okay, so... David is now really sincere with us. Like, he really tells something from the bottom of his heart. 
The sad thing is that when soldiers come home from war in America, they just... Here, you have a medal, and then they're just thrown into the trash. Like, most of them have PTSD, you know, post-traumatic uh, um, stress disorder. And they almost can't um, get their shit together anymore in life. So, you know, those are really like, like poor people when they come home from war. It's just a dumb thing that the US government does. So, like I said, I understand him, but I still don't understand two things. Two things. Why was Rachel, and why was Chloe not enough for Rachel? Why did she have to have more people? And on the other hand, David is here now really understanding. He has lost a comrade in war. So, and he said he really knows how Chloe is feeling. So, why wasn't he... Why wasn't he understanding, you know, to her? You know, like, like, why didn't he just try to help Chloe? Because he didn't. He was always angry. He was always swearing at her. Why? 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 <laughs> Come on, man. Ah, oh, yeah, I accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy... They look close. Same thing happens afterwards with Chloe and Rachel. Rachel dies, Chloe lives. And then she dies. Fuck it, man. Oh, Thank boy. you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. But I don't all even right. ask, like, really. All right. But I don't even really ask, you know. Like, like not even David is asking, like, hey, where are you going exactly? Or what will you, what will you do exactly? Just like, hey, well, yeah, you can what go. What the hell? Rice cereals? Dude, what has he brought into here? There was a, a number plate from Florida, I guess. Is David from Florida? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. The Trump state? <laughs> What's Sorry. the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? Wait, what? Oh, because it's locked. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah, but I guess Chloe does know a little bit of how to repair a car. I mean, she... Obviously watched William a few times and maybe even assisted him. Uh train tracks again. Oh the music. I mean this is the last episode that we we are seeing Arcadia Bay. God damn it! I just love Arcadia Bay. I just have brainstorm for my story. She's really repairing it. We have a wrench. Better. But still needs a bit more love. You mean tough love, huh? I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Yeah, great. Um, David. Chloe, this is David. Did, did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed uh, you took your father's toolbox. So you work on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Okay, he tries. He tries. This thing seems pretty gunked up. So I need a new thingy. 
I think I should move on to something else. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Uh, let's go with the wrench. Helping. Oh, I already did that. I'm sorry. This connection sorry. is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Uh, Faka Magic? What is that? What? <laughs> what is that the word? The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Dude, I she knows so. Small to scrape the gunk off the cap. I have no clue about cars, to be honest. Nothing doing. I seriously have no clue. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? With a wrench? I really have no clue about repairing cars. <laughs> Much better. Nice. Okay, what about that one there? Is that Looks something like with the exhaustion? Patch this thing up. Sometime before no, that's born. that's the air air thingy. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. <laughs> better leave it be. What is that? Oil? I, I I really don't have a clue. I mean, I think it's really interesting, but I think I'm always like asking dumb questions, you know, because I have no clue about that. This thing is going to the fuck up. Ah! Don't you need there is something else to connect? This thing. Let's blow. Maybe. Ew. Singer of Pisshead, Sick. One of the hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. Okay. Hi, fans. Now, Skip. I oh, that's Skip. As a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? <clears throat> I used to. I, uh, I, I, I uh, quit, actually. Really? Uh, pliers? Hold on to your horses, folks. What is a plier? Skip Matthews of Pisshead has traded in his badge. Ah, there, a plier. <laughs> Ah, that's the thing. That's called Playa. Okay. I didn't know. That's actually really interesting. Deadly electric glove. Indeed. Uh, now we need a screwdriver, I guess. Cool? For the... Fuck of, 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 of something. What is that? I mean, what is this? What is this good for? It just has so much wires in it. What is that? That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Uh. Reattach. Go back from whence we came. Okay. Someone wrote to us. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Oh, is she going to take apart from William's car? Oh, that's weird. By the way, I love the skull on her shirt. Looks amazing. Please, I need you. Hey, it works. Oh my god, look at that. Hell yeah, but can yeah. she drive a car? I mean, has she ever learned how to drive a car? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, 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 chill out, chill out, Chloe, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. I mean, 
I know it's kind of amazing, but still. Just don't crash into something. She's happy now. Um, is there like no river nearby where you could wash your hands? No, don't don't use the claw cloth. Yeah, use that whatever that was. Oh, there's a mirror. Yeah, you look awesome, Chloe. You look really awesome. Hey, junkyard queen, where are you at? Damn, Rachel looks awesome. Holy shit. Look at her. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. Oh. I was gonna say hot. <laughs> but, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Mm-hmm. Should we check it out? <laughs> oh. Um, I still have a message on my phone, you know? I kind of want to read hey, that. Price. Nice wheels. <laughs> You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? Yeah. It's his fucking bar mitzvah oh Frank shit Frank here's becoming a man aren't you big guy what's he doing here hey I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing don't you want to be cool yeah I want we're cool I just want to talk to Frank as long as you don't get in the way we'll be fine <laughs> I told you she's like this Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Bro. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Uh oh, Frank looks concerned. Dude, cl uh, Rachel. Don't fucking touch her. Uh oh. I. Dude, Damon is a fucking criminal. Chill out. You shouldn't have touched him. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. True. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. What do you want to show me? See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Oh Maybe no. It was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him. That I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay. Then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Uh, a friend. I, sh she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family or any friends. She does. Look, you just don't know. None of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? Ugh. Rachel, don't say. Don't say anything. No. Rachel! Tell me where she is now. Rachel. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? Yeah. 
That makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. Well, we know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. What do you mean? Here's what happens next. What? Come on, man. Hey, They're chill, 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 no. chill, chill. They're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. Chill out. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's oh, still Frank's cool. so nice. No, 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 don't you. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Rachel. Holy shit. Oh, you fucking bitch. Holy. No. Oh. Rachel. What the fuck? Chloe, go! Now! Oh, shit! What the shit? Dude, the whole life is bloody! Shit! Oh no, the blood loss, the blood loss. The, the, the artery has been hit. On, 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 on her left arm. Yeah, yeah, she's unconscious. Dude! Take her or your fucking belt and rip that around her arm. Oh my god, don't you have any clue about that, how that works? Jesus Christ. Dude, you know that your car has no license plate, huh? <laughs> okay, that's probably the, the least thing you should worry about now, but still. What the fuck, Damon? That, that, that dude. <laughs> Can someone kill this guy? What the shit? <sighs> oh damn, we're at the hospital. Yep. Where's James though? Ah, oh, they're all the, the Ambers. That's exactly what James didn't want. That's from the fire department. Dude, how long does she wait here? James. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but ah, see, what's the artery? She's had a surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Uh, my fault. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I, I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. Yeah. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Yeah. Um. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? Yes. I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story yeah he's a fucking district attorney no attorney so at, at something I, I don't know what it's called anymore dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah Frank Bowers yeah that's right but Damon showed up with him mm -hmm. what did Merrick want 
Dude. That's crazy that, like, Chloe is talking to him like that, you know, like, like drug dealer and stuff. Because, like, he is, he is a detective or whatever you, you call that, you know. So, basically, so, theoretically, James could, could actually investigate Chloe and make her life really hard. But he doesn't do that. Damn. Love it. <laughs> um, to ask about Sarah. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing. Of course. We did say something, though. Is that family friend how it became violent? No. Rachel got angry. It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. Yeah. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nah, you could have helped her, and I'm not really sure she was protecting me. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. Yep. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. Mm-hmm. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What uh, happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that Simba. pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. Yep. And then he stabbed her. Yep. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. That's normal. It's not your fault. It's really not. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. Did we? But I don't know what happened. Did Frank kill Damon? <laughs> We were here. I hope so. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Oh, oh my God, really? What about Sarah? What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? Yeah, she still After wants all to. This. I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. She won't. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Blood loss. Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. For a it time. Be some time before for four Rachel years. wakes up. No, for three years. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Saved her only for three years. Damn. Our father must feel afterwards when she dies because of Nathan and Jefferson. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, that's... that's Steph. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Sorry, need to let my cat out. Well, our room's just down the hall. Oh. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Oh, man. Dude, what was this episode? I mean, the beginning of that. There was so much stuff going on. I don't think I can sit still any longer. <laughs> Might as well... Stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but yeah. Um. So. Dude. 
so much stuff has happened in this episode. Like, holy fuck. I mean, I mean, I mean, Rachel was was, was crying in a, in a room sane, and we helped I her. I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? I mean, we helped Rachel. Um, going through that really hard time there. Then afterwards, we went home and we had this conversation with Joyce and with uh, David. And then there was also the stuff where we had another vision from William. Um, then we, we repaired the car. And what else did we do? Yeah, we, we repaired the car. Um, and then the whole Frank Damon shit came around. I actually do think that Frank killed Damon. Like, it can't be the other way there. around. And we don't see Damon in the main I game. Should visit him. So, I really think he killed him. And I bet this would be the first murder that Frank has ever done. Like, he's kind of evil. I mean, he's a nice guy. But Damon, he's just, he's just a fucking criminal. So, I really hope Frank killed him. Um, But, yeah. I guess that was it for today. What an episode. Just waiting for me. Oh. Shouldn't stay here too long. Chloe, this is Mrs. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. Okay. A quality health advice. Where could it be first? Watch could it be? Uh, remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Um, uh, still around. We're in room 785 in case I forgot. Cool. Okay. But yeah, anyways. Hope you enjoyed it. Dude, this episode, like I said, so many things happened already. Like, damn. So the only thing, I guess, that's what's left uh, that we should do is actually um, go to find Sarah, huh? But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I mean, holy shit. Whoa, what a start to, uh, to the third and last episode. Um, you know the real social media is linked down below. So also my... Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Also, my Discord server is linked down below, and so is uh, my YouTube channel for past stream highlights in better quality. Um, yeah, this evening I will stream um, Overwatch, um, trying to play um, Heal and Tank, um, ranking up a bit. At least that's my goal there. So, um,. Dude, my brain Rachel's is just probably gone. Waiting for me. It's because Chloe is talking all the time. God damn it. I do it like that. So. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around um, in... How late is it even? Yeah, in about two hours, I will start streaming Overwatch. So if you want to see that, then be sure to check me out then too. By the way, I'm trying to reach the affiliate status, which now means I just need um, three viewers on average in every stream in a month so if you want to help me achieve that then be sure to watch my streams um and yeah that was it for today stay tuned oh for this afternoon i mean stay tuned for the evening stream if you want to watch um if you want to see um life is strange at another time i stream life is strange every wednesday afternoon so if you want to check it out then go check it out so yeah anyways Dude, my, my outro is really scattered today. What the fuck am I doing? But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And until later this evening, ta-ta. <laughs>